Hi everyone, so I've just completed week seven of my training for the Royal Parks Half Marathon. I can't quite believe it, but there's only eight weeks left. Oh man, it's getting a bit scary now. Um, the long runs are really kicked in. I've finished um, what they called the build phase um, one, and I'm stepping into build phase two, um, according to the Royal Parks training plan. Um, so basically the last phase was about increasing my distances on my runs but this next phase is about um working on my speed and um so there'll probably be a lot more interval training tempo runs that kind of thing um so i thought on that note i would go over a little bit of those for any of you that are new to running when you hear the words tempo run interval run fart look training all that sort of stuff it can be a bit overwhelming and if i'm honest I never really have done any of it and I've been running for years now. I've always been one of these people that just puts my trainers on, gets out, no fancy equipment, no special training, nothing like that, um, just go out and see what I can do, um, which has been absolutely fine. But since starting this blog, I thought it'd be quite good for me to research some of these things a little bit more, although I know what they are. I don't necessarily practice them, but I do know what some of them are. Um, it, I just thought now was the time really just to make this a bit more interesting and hopefully help some of you out there that are a bit new to this obviously you can google any of this on the web but here is my basic rundown and overview of what some of the types of different trainings you can do so hill runs pretty obvious really running up a hill um but the trick is to not overexert yourself to the point you damage your calves um it's meant to help build your leg muscles um especially your calves and your thighs um, which in turn can prevent shin splints so yeah and also another thing helps improve your bum can't believe I didn't do these sooner doesn't help I don't have any hills nearby obviously but and I will be making the most of those hills now um yeah and you should try to incorporate a hill run like once a week um I wouldn't necessarily say go to a hill and just literally repeatedly run up and down it I found that's actually been more detrimental to my training than if I've just gone on a run that I know has lots of hills in. So yeah, that's my number one tip. So a tempo run is basically a run faster than your um, comfortable pace. So you need to just push yourself a little bit more. For me, so my comfortable pace is about a 10 minute mile. Um, so my tempo run would be an 8.30 minute mile, which... <laughs> scares the hell out of me if I'm honest um when you're training they tend to be on your shorter runs that they incorporate tempo runs so it should be a little bit easier and a little bit more doable I guess the perfect time to practice those is probably at park runs um but yeah I'm gonna be starting those as we go into the next phase intervals and fartlek training so intervals is basically a set distance a set time that you set yourself to run for at a faster pace and then you do a slow recovery run in between each interval where spark look training is where you see a signpost in the distance and you head for that signpost as fast as you can and then you have a rest period until you get your breath back and you alter the terrain and things like that so negative splits is the last one i'm going to talk about this is something i've been doing and i had no idea i was doing it so every time i've done a race I've always started off slow. Well, I say slow, like my average pace of 10 minute miles, sometimes a little bit quicker, um, depending on the mood. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get going, doesn't it? So negative splits is where you, you do this, you set off at a normal pace, you warm your muscles up and you prepare them. And then the second half, you run a little bit quicker. Um, by doing this, you're preserving your energy so that when you're running past um, other runners to the end, you're, you're, you feel confident and stronger and yeah you've got that energy to actually finish that race strongly um I've always done it I never realized I was doing it. um yeah negative splits can also um help prevent leg injuries and also it helps to warm up your heart and lungs so it's not so much of a shock to the system when you you know you go full pelt for lever I know in practice that really is the case because my lungs and hearts usually you know that, that I always usually feel quite comfortable even when I'm really pushing myself it's my legs that always let me down so this next phase for me is going to be about practicing that and putting that into practice in a better way that actually means I can get a, a PB 
I, like I've said, I'm not bothered about getting a PB for the Royal Parks half marathon. This is more about um, enjoying enjoying it a little bit more. So I don't want to have that pressure. But when I run the St. Neitz half marathon, um, which is one I've done a few times, that's when I want to try and get a PB. So yeah, that's something for me to work on. So rather than doing a vlog about each particular run, I'm just going to take you through some little clips that I took throughout the runs. I think it'll be a bit more interesting than me sitting here saying, yeah, this is what happened. So you can see for yourself. Okay, so this is our first run since being back from our holiday. It's just not the same. Three miles in, in the boring town centre running. Obviously I have to keep to pass because the girls need to be able to bike on it. Oh my God, this is so boring. And it makes running so hard. I do actually feel a bit dizzy today. I don't know if it's because I haven't had my breakfast yet, but that's not unusual, I don't normally. One sec, house. Nearly done. Um, it's 4.2 miles, that little route we did to home. So I'll just be short of four and a half. But that's good for me. Good enough for me. Feeling a bit dizzy today. Are you happier now, Neve? <laughs> she's happy now, she's nearly home. <laughs> So this morning, I woke up getting ready for my run and I had the biggest puppy dog eyes from him. <laughs> I hope you saw him. How could I not take him, bless him? So, I'm not gonna do my interval run because quite frankly, he's gonna take me for one. <laughs> and I best not go near the hills here because cars are going past and I think he's freaking out a little bit so chose to go down a dirt track near where we're camping I think he'll enjoy it more buddy say hi <sighs> I'm only about halfway it's quite ankle twisting scary up here because it's so wet I'm used to this trail it's not very long though so we did a complete turn. What about the way? It's like running with weights around your ankles. <laughs> oh that mud. I'd write that. Pooch off at about two and a half miles. He's not a fan of running along this ride, it's a bit busy. And I need to finish at least three. But I thought, well, there's a massive hill here, I'm gonna attempt it. So I'm heading for the bottom and then I'm gonna run up to finish my run. I wish me luck. My hell down. It goes up and then down again. I'm gonna run up that one, turn around, back down it, and then back up this one. I made it a little bit, but I made it. started our 10 mile run slash bike ride it's really hot I think I'm going to struggle the girls have whizzed off ahead but I'm sure they'll need to stop for a break at some point so I'm hoping for that wish me luck only 2 miles in already hit a bloody wall 
My calves are absolute agony. I don't know why they won't loosen up. Probably because I haven't been foam rolling. So let's start doing that. They really hurt. Pit stop made. The kids are having a mini break and then they're gonna catch up so that I can get ahead and not have to wait. It's beat me. I didn't think there was as many heels this way. Summer's finally here and I'm happy about that. But bloody hell, could have waited a couple of hours. <laughs> oh, another hill. Oh, I needed that, didn't I? Keep saying I need to practice on the hills. <laughs> wow, I'm practicing today. We've lost Neve and Chris because her chain came off a bit far back. I'm guessing she's struggling with the hills to catch up with us. And Ellie's struggling with the hills, which means I'm having to keep with her and walk. I'm not complaining, I need the walk. <laughs> that was probably my slowest split. <laughs> Nearly 13 minutes, because I think I walked a bit and stopped a bit, and ran back for Ellie a little bit, and now I bump her really has fallen off. So now I'm carrying that too. No sign of Chris and Neve still. But we're actually getting close to the end now. I've got to tag on a couple of miles while they sit and have a break, so. And I'll play. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that, I've got to say. But hey, it's got to be done. 10 miles has to be done today. Oh, this is what I miss running around where I live. There's absolutely nothing like this. You literally have to drive if you want views like this on your runs. I just need to win the lottery so we can move somewhere idyllic. This is only up the road. Oh, I'm sure just told me I've done seven miles. Reached eight miles. Finally, we're all back together. <sighs> really struggling today. I definitely think I picked the wrong way round, didn't I? Sorry about that. <laughs> They're not big fans of me right now. But at least they can stop in about half a mile. I've still got to do. Probably. Another mile and a half by the time I get back. Oh, this has been tough, really, really tough. Yeah. You look annoyed for mummy. Was it really horrible? Mm. Yeah. I think I picked the wrong route, didn't I? We went the wrong way. I thought it was less hilly. More for me, that was tough. Really yeah. tough. Let's go and eat some lunch. <laughs> that I was, had stopped losing weight a couple of years ago with running so that's when I started introducing strength training and I saw a dramatic difference in my weight loss but also I started eating better but I think it's because I wasn't so bloody hungry after I'd done a weight session but after I've done a run I am literally want to eat the whole house last night I sat down and ate a massive bowl of pasta I regretted it. I could have actually have eaten the leftovers of the girls as well, but I had to stop myself and I made Chris bin it before I went anywhere near it. I'm just so hungry. I probably ate more calories than I burnt off in my run. <laughs> but I am going to work on that, but just not right now. During the summer holidays, I'm really struggling to not want to eat 
meal plans have gone out the window because we've been away. I haven't done a proper shop in weeks. I'm going shopping today to try and get some meals for the first half of the week. But yeah, it's just not going so well on the diet front. But I'm not putting on weight. I'm keeping it off. I'm maintaining. So I'm quite happy by that. And to be honest, I don't think I really have the long term goal of losing weight. Obviously, it'd be a bit nicer to be a little bit lighter because then it's easier to run. But if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. As long as I don't gain 10 pounds, I'll be fine. So, yeah. Um, so as I lead into week eight, which is, like I said, the build phase two, which is where it's going to help me to improve on my endurance and intensity of my runs. Um, it adds on a run for this week. So it um, has scheduled five runs or it says I could do a cross train or a three mile easy run. I'm really struggling to even get four done during the summer holidays. I don't know about any of you. It's quite a struggle. So for me, I realistically know there's no way I'm going to get five runs in. So for this week, especially because I'm going away on Wednesday again for another road trip with the girls to go and see my best friend at uni and um, from uni. Um, so I'm only scheduling four runs and I even think they might be a struggle to get in. So this week I plan to do Tuesday I plan to do four and a half miles but it's meant to be a fast run a tempo run so I'm gonna to have to wait for Chris to get home there's no way I can get the girls out doing a bike ride for that kind of a run so, and no excuses when he gets home from work I'm putting those trainers on and I'm out of that door and then on Friday I need to do four and a half miles steady run which again is um, according to my training plan is a nine minute mile um, run I'm not overly worried if I don't manage that if I if I stick to an easy run just because I know I'm going to have to do this one with the girls because I'll be out for the afternoon on a spa day with my mum and sister we are desperate to go and do the park run me and Ellie so we are going to go and do the park run on Saturday Sunday I'm volunteering again for the junior park run I volunteered for the first time this week and it was so much fun I was given the responsibility of timekeeper though <laughs> um what a responsibility for the first time volunteering i think even the woman when she told me realized <laughs> i was a little bit nervous it's fine i did well though so hopefully i didn't muck up anyone's times and neve got a personal best so even better and then after that i plan to do an eight mile um run <coughs> um, just at my normal pace of 10 minute miles if i can even manage that because sunday's run as you saw from the video i really really struggled I'm going to attempt, I think, the same route probably. It's slightly longer than eight miles, but I'll either run for the eight miles and walk the remainder to um, cool down, or I might even warm up, might be the more sensible option, by walking for half a mile and then running the rest. Um, I don't want to push it much more than eight miles because I want to try and get back on track for the training plan. It obviously sets that for a reason, so yeah, I want to try and do that. Because then the following week I need to try and do 10 miles, which I'm going to do in lovely Norfolk area where my mum is getting married. So I'm quite excited because hopefully that'll be much nicer scenery to do 10 miles in. So yeah, that's it for this week. Um, I will see you again next week. I don't know about you, but we're halfway through the summer holidays and I am really starting to struggle now. <laughs> I, we've really been keeping busy. We've been away a lot, so that's helped. But the girls... Are driving each other crazy which in turn is driving me crazy i just want to get out and do my normal runs they want to stop having to be nagged to go for a bike ride all in all i think we're a little bit fed up of each other's company we've got three weeks to go hold on in there okay nearly there bye <laughs>